Love them job. Hey, Alex, we're over halfway through here. What are you seeing? What are you thinking? Uh, I'm glad to see they have some ideas coming together now. Um, I think I'm seeing some interesting combinations of ingredients. Uh, like they said, a lot of onion and garlic, which is great. Um, and again, just impressed that they are brave enough to step up and do something like this, especially not being professional cooks. It's cool. All right, Clarence, we're here halfway through, actually more than halfway through. What are you seeing? What are you thinking? Um, everything is coming together. Um, I'm surprised that they're, they're finally figuring out what they're going to make. Um, It'll be interesting to see what the final product is and how it tastes. Good. All right, Shane, here we are halfway through, actually over halfway through. What are you seeing? What are you thinking? I'm seeing a lot of promising things, just a lot of food that's starting to finally come together. People are tasting as they go. I'm liking the use of seasonings and just I'm, I'm curious to see how the finished product looks and tastes. And Louie, here we are, Bronx Kitchen, over halfway through with the, the competition. What are you seeing? What are you thinking? Well, I walked around a little bit, and uh, they're doing a great job. And uh, nobody's panicking. Nobody's making, it doesn't look like anyone's making mistakes. Um, everyone's trying things. I'm getting glares from them now. No, seriously, <laughs> they're doing a great job. And uh, all the dishes look edible and <laughs> deli and, and, and quite frankly good. I mean, I, I've been known to make hot dog quesadillas when in, in a pinch so like this is this is great i'm excited to see what these great students come up with what are you seeing what are you thinking about the the evening 
uh, smells amazing right now. They were so nervous at the beginning. Right now they're getting confident, so that's good. Uh, I mean, it's hard to be in front of so many people and cooking. It's really hard, so I'm very, very proud of them. And all the smells, if you guys can smell it, it's delicious. It's going to be a success. Renee, we're just checking in with the judges here one-on-one. -on -one. What are you seeing? What are you thinking? I smell a lot of garlic and a lot of onion, which is great because evidently they didn't have pepper to season, so it's going to be a little difficult. And salt and pepper are kind of staples for seasoning, so I'm glad they're using other things to make that dish exciting. Ten minutes and counting. Are you ready? We'll have a winner soon. chicken for my protein, um, whole wheat penne noodles for my starch, and spinach and onion and garlic, kind of a salt uh, seasoning and a vegetable for my vegetable. And then we also had to use lemon. So I used the lemon when I was um, softening up the onion and the garlic with the butter. And I also used it when I added the chicken in and a little bit went on the uh, spinach before it got added to the rest of the dish, as well as you have a beautiful little lemon wedge that if you so decide to, you can squeeze over the top. And then we didn't have any like pasta sauce, um, so I used uh, cream of mushroom soup diluted with 2% milk um, and garlic salt for my sauce. And then I covered it in um, cheddar cheese. I'm not gonna lie, I was terrified when I watched you put the garlic powder in that pan. Yeah, <clears throat> it was a lot. <laughs> but I think not the, overwhelming in the dish. No, I think the lemon and everything kind of tied it all together. Just that's my other concern is that you were. Uh, yeah. Uh, at first, when I saw it, I'm like, did she just slice this lemon and put it on the plate? So good job using the juice inside mm -hmm. there, and it really makes it pop. Mm -hmm. I think the pasta's cooked very well. It's it's al dente um, and not overdone, which um, is always a kind of big deal, I think. And, um, and I like how you sort of improvised to make the sauce um, using a can of cream of whatever soup and, and sort of diluting that down and using that as a sauce. I think it's a great idea. So I think that is the ultimate Midwest culinary thing. Yeah. It actually Give came, me cream of something. It came mm -hmm. from um, my stepdad because he's living with all of our leftover turkey for Thanksgiving when my mother is not on a diet. Um, <clears throat> where he takes it and he like puts in five different cream of something soups and then the turkey and then like a ton of cheese. It's honestly heart attack in a pan, but it's fine. And I was like, that seems like an appropriate use of the soup. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Like the backstory too. Yeah. Our food has some sort of backstory to it. Uh, my name is Ikea. I'm a senior here. My major, I'm a double major in kinesiology and sports psychology. Um, and I chose to use the ingredients in like a one pot chili slash stew situation. Um, I used the canned chicken for my protein. I used um, corn and tomatoes in there. I used beans. And then in the rice, I have squeezed lemon, lime, and I put some like a rosemary basil situation. And you guys got like a little lime quarter there, so if you so choose to squeeze it over there, you can. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I love the rice and bean combo. Is great in any any situation. They go together really, really well. 
adding a little bit of corn to it, adds a little bit of flavor, a little color, like that too. And I like the little bit of cheese on there. The rice is really good. And like Renee said, especially for fermented rice, that's, it's, that's, that's really good. The only thing I would say is I want more spices. I think that I like a lot of spices in my food. Um, but overall, very well balanced, uh, really tasty. Um, yeah, no, it, it's very well balanced. It tastes really good. Um, I did squeeze that lime wedge over it and that helped bring out a little bit more of the flavor. The only thing for me that I would say is, you know, it's all kind of one texture. Mm -hmm. There's not really anything to kind of help set things apart, you know, a crunch or anything like that. Um, but other than that, it's, it's really good. I like it. I disagree. I get the crunch from the corn. Okay. I like that to add texture to it instead of just all. You want some soft. of those ramen noodles she opened and you crunch them up on top of it? The box off the line, it's all in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get weird with it. Yeah. Food is fun. Just play with it. Yeah. Play it as safe as born. Mm -hmm. I know you added that ramen packet a little bit later, but if you put a bit in your rice in the beginning, it'll go ahead and just play with it. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's really good. Like when you're at home, but you know when you're having the pantry, sometimes when you have a, or you're having a hard time, it's only when it's hot, and it's delicious. But it does need more spices and a little more flavor. If you have chopped a little bit more like garlic and a little bit more stuff like that, it will be good. a little more soft. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I like it. Simple, delicious. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> I agree on the more spices thing. Um, I even have cilantro or like jalapenos up there. But I was like, like, that was that would have been in the rough, but I, I think it's really tasty. It's definitely a stick to your It's comforting. It reminds me of something my mom would make. Alrighty, my name is Isabel. Um, I am an education major. I'm a junior. Um, yeah, and so for my ingredients, I use the tuna. I threw a couple spices in there and put, so I think I put pineapple juice in there. Um, and then I use the lemon and when I cut the potatoes, um, I put, I kind of tried to do a little bit of like a quick pickle thing with the, um, uh, pineapple and the tomato. Um, uh, yeah. And then I also tried to reduce the pineapple juice to kind of more of a dressing, but we didn't have any sugar. So it's kind of just... Warm pineapple juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, first of all, your potatoes are perfect. So, yeah, nice job. Absolutely perfect. What did you, uh, you said you did like a quick pickle on the pineapple and tomatoes, right? What did you put in there? Lime juice. I probably, I don't remember if I put salt in there or not, but I probably could. I made it work to get the. Obviously, you didn't have a long time. We only got to sit there for an hour. Yeah, it'd be great. I love the presentation. Very good. Yeah. Very nice. Colorful. Mm -hmm. I mean, based on what you guys saw right now, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Best looking paper plate I've ever been served. Yeah. <laughs> I think you were really brave to use the tuna. Yeah. And um, as I was kind of looking out there, I thought, what am I gonna? What would I do with tuna? Uh, you know, and um, lovely. Has kind of a Hawaiian feel to it. Like I'm thinking, like poke bowl a little bit with like um, like the pineapple and the tuna. I really really like that. Um, and um, I think your your salad, your relish, it, it, it kind of it comes together very very well. And the potato on the on the side is a really nice contrast. So. I'm not a fan of tuna out of a can, but just to say, what you, you do see, to the tuna? Yeah. <laughs> lemon juice in it. That's that it. it. Nothing else. I, I probably threw some other things in there. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't taste. It doesn't taste like the normal canned tuna yeah. that you get. To I the store. don't do canned really tuna. Yeah. I saw that come out of the basket. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> pretend. <laughs> That's actually really good. Yeah. I would you eat did that. a fantastic yeah. job with that. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
delicious. Nice looking plate. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that we did a like a, a lighter meal and not like a heavier kind of meal. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Um, I'm Catherine. I'm a first year and my major is poli sci. Um, so what I made for you is eggs and potatoes. Um, in the eggs I put spinach, tomato, onion, and like a little bit of garlic. Um, and then in the chi the chicken's also in the uh, eggs, and I put the lemon in the chicken. I don't know, I can't really think of anywhere else to throw it in there, so I just kind of did it. Um, it was supposed to be an omelet, and then I kind of just failed when I got over there, but it was fine in the end, I guess. Um, and then the potatoes are just like garlic powder and salt. So it's pretty more responsibly. Yep. I don't know much, but I didn't buy the ranch <laughs> instead. Well, I'll be the same for Catherine, I like that you thought outside the box actually did a breakfast food instead of doing the off right type of dinner thing. I will say your eggs need a little more salt really than no other seasoning issues, just a little bland. But your potatoes are incredible. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I mean, was if you never do that, it go well. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. They call them. Mm -hmm. You said you were kind of struggling to figure out where to put the lemon. Yeah. The potatoes would have been a good place to kind of incorporate that mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah. But no, it, it blends very well together. I thought your potatoes are seasoned perfectly. Um, I, I like that and really, really nice flavor to it. Not too much garlic, um, but enough that it kind of it, it just adds some depth to the flavor. You sense it more than actually tasting it, which I kind of like. Um, the the omelet slash scramble. Um, there's something a little perverse maybe about putting chicken in eggs, but like uh, <laughs> you know, it's like cannibalistic in some weird way, but it totally works. Uh, and uh, um, I, you know, I, I I'm okay with the eggs without, and I'm a I'm a salt guy, but I'm okay with the eggs the way they are. Oh, they, and, they have the butter, yeah, right? yeah, and a little bit of onion in there like that, I think, does it does it really really well for me. So delicious. And your veggies maintain a really good texture, like they're not yeah. super soft in there, so you still get that nice crunch and mm -hmm. all this kind of thing. I think you did a great job, but this dives on the chick to my discovery, so you can have a little bit more chunks. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. it looks a little bit better. But it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm Reese. I am a business administration and studio art major. I'm a junior and I made kind of like potatoes with minced garlic, some oregano and parsley. And then I made like a pasta with both chicken and tuna in there and peas. And then I made my own like cheese sauce <coughs> to put on there. Started with a roux and added milk and then added cheese and melted that all together. And then I decided to add a little bit of like freshness to it because it's all it was all kind of like blandish. Add some I squeezed the lemon on the lettuce, put a little bit of oil, and then put the pineapple in there to give it a little acidity as well. And I kind of thought about like the food groups and how to incorporate all of them because that's kind of like the whole point of this, I guess. Mm -hmm. And so you get like a little bit of everything kind of. So that's awesome. what it is. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got it. We, my mom makes this one in mac and cheese, and it's a favorite among some people that I've made it for, and that's kind of where I got the inspiration. Okay. Nice. Very nice. That's so. really good. Mm -hmm. You can see if you want it's almost like a cold salad, you can see all the sort of colds, it's still going to be really good. Mm -hmm. I think it does kind of work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's really good. Why did you use the chicken and the tuna? Um, I thought they're, they're like, I thought they're like really similar in like texture wise and like a little bit of taste. And so I thought it'd be like nice to give like two different like proteins. So I got everything to use the chicken and so I wanted to mm. not use both, I guess. And then it gives you just a little bit more to it. So. Um, the potatoes are fantastic. I love them. Oh, right. like, yes. I would eat a puppet for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, like Louie said, I'm a fan of big spices in your face. Kind of, you know, knocks mm -hmm. you back a little bit. And that's exactly what those are. Um, the pasta, like he said, would be served 
I think great either way, hot or cold. Um, the salad threw me for a little bit of a loop just because it seemed kind of lush, but obviously it is. You guys aren't <laughs> expecting this stuff. Um, you do get the acidity from that, and if you kind of add in a little bit of that with potatoes and stuff, it does actually work together pretty well. So, very nice. There's a lot of heavy <clears throat> potatoes, cream, yeah. cheese. Yeah, this is light and fresh. And yeah, yeah, it lights it up for sure. Yeah, yeah, the creaminess on the pasta is really, it's not something that will heat you in the back. It's just mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. The only thing I would say is your sauce got a little tight. But yeah. it also sat there for a while after yeah. you finished cooking. Mm -hmm. um, did you build your roux <clears throat> in the pan and then add everything on top of it? Yeah, so I put the melted the butter, added the flour, and then added the milk, brought that to a boil, and let that thicken, and then I added the Parmesan cheese. And a little bit of salt as well. So I would recommend making your roux separate okay. and then adding it once you've got all your ingredients in the pan. Okay. It'll just help you control how mm -hmm. thick it gets. Mm -hmm. um, but also you can also you can splash the milk in there and thin it out if that mm -hmm. happens. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you know what roux is. Do you know the correct ratio to make it? Uh, no, I think <laughs> I used like, I think like two and a, or three tablespoons and then I just kind of like, I pulled like probably like a third or a fourth cup of milk, um, so. Obviously that's unimportant in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Your ratio is one to one. One to one. Kind of flour. It can be any kind of fat, bacon oh, grease, whatever you want to use, lard. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, overall, nice job. Mm -hmm. Your pasta is cooked well. Yeah. I love the green peas in here. Like, really yeah, the peas. Yeah, the peas add like some texture, texture to it, to it. yeah, and and, and some good flavor, but it's not like it doesn't pop out and punch you. In a dish like that, I kind of like to be able to taste all the things, but I also kind of like it all just together. Yeah. And I kind of like the the tuna and the chicken together because chicken doesn't, especially canned chicken, doesn't have a lot of flavor to it, and so it was kind of a neat way to get more protein into the dish. But um, it, I can't really taste the chicken, but I taste the tuna in it. So yeah. it, it sort of like, it reinforced the tuna a little bit, which yeah. I thought was kind of cool. The potatoes, delicious, delicious. <laughs> yes. I thank you for mincing the garlic. I use garlic powder a lot when I when I cook to save time sometimes, mm -hmm. but nothing beats fresh minced garlic. Can I just hop back into the high school foods class that I took oh. on how to mince garlic? And yeah. I was like, you know, this great. is the best I got from like three years ago. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you did really well. The salad, I like that balancing kind of the rest of it. Um, I think I would like a little bit more of the, maybe you, you said you put some oil and vinegar on it. Yeah, uh, I would like just a little bit more of that and then the pineapple to kind of add that acidity mm -hmm. to it. But um, that's a really minor thing, the whole dish. Very, very good. Thank you. One something. So we're going to start with um, a participation. And if you, I'll call their name, and if you could give them a round of applause, then we'll go with the runner-up and then our winner. So first, or first wanted to give out a shout-out to Catherine. Yay. Thank you. To Ikea. Yay. And to Bree. And to Isabel. And Tariq. Thank you. All right. Take it away. Um, every um, single one of you did a fantastic job. Like, be proud of yourselves for stepping up and being able to do this competition. That's big. Especially when none of you actually cook for a living. Hearing hearing your majors, uh, I, you know, it's hopeful maybe we'd find somebody who wants a job, but I, I <laughs> um, Again, all the food was good. I didn't have to tell a single lie during the judging, but yeah, <laughs> you do this a few times, you will. Um, yeah, so I, again, just good job. Like, Keep doing what you're doing. Be proud of what you did today. You, you all have earned it. Uh, that being said, first place, Isabel. Thank you for joining us for our first chop.